how do the owners of the ship lines respond when you say, you know, you don't need a congressional hearing on this. No. Why in the hell doesn't the Marisk, Alabama, and the entire line say, the crew is too important, we have to provide for your safety? What is wrong with the owners of the line? Well, at the time, uh, all the companies, I think, were doing the industry standard for the time. Unfortunately, the pirates are evolving and using better and better tactics. Uh, they're going farther and farther out. They're attacking at night now. And uh, the industry standard is not good enough. I don't know if you heard, but uh, my very ship, the Mask Alabama, was attacked again right. in November. And with the assets they had aboard, it turned into a non-incident. There's been more than a few ships who have repelled uh, right. w- with armed assets, have repelled and, and turned this into a non incident and actually just in the last I believe 96 hours there was a ship that actually shot and killed a pirate and allowed the military to arrive on scene and arrest the others and actually take the mothership out because that's the big problem is these motherships are bigger ships that pull these small boats uh, as far out as a thousand miles out ships have been attacked out just north of Madagascar so you can see the range is millions and millions and millions of square miles I didn't realize that oh yeah and and they're actually I I liken them to jackals uh, following the wildebeest her, they're just looking for the weakest uh, uh, ship, and, and any ship that seems soft, a soft target, they will attack. So it's important to be ready. I felt it's important to be ready. We were doing the industry standard. That seemed to be uh, the proper way to do it. The parameters for a piracy attack were if you were more than 15 knots, you had a free board. That's the height from the wa- level of the water to the main deck, more than 15 feet. You were outside the parameters. The potential for piracy attack was, uh, was almost, uh, you know, not to be considered. However, you know, there's many types of lies, lies, damn lies, and the statistics, and I think uh, they fall at all the later two. Uh, so uh, uh, things are evolving, things are changing, and now I think companies are taking some of the steps as reflected in the, the two incidents that I talked about, the right. Mask Alabama in November and the Panamanian ship uh, just in the last 96 hours that did repel the attack. Are I you, think if you give seamen the chance and the wherewithal to protect themselves, we have the capability uh, to do that. Oh, absolutely. And should have. I mean, And I, should have. I believe we should have. I, I guess I've watched too many movies about the merchant <laughs> marine, uh, the marine uh, ships around the world, but the idea that the captain doesn't have a locker filled with weapons is not something that ever even went through my mind. <laughs> well, not all ships have lockers full of weapons. We only need right. uh, two good weapons. And, and you have to understand, uh, we in the merchant marine and the international community have – uh, contended with piracy. In fact, it's the second oldest profession. Uh, we, we have piracy ongoing right now in Sri Lanka, in uh, Malacca Straits, Indonesia, Nigeria, of course, Somalia, China, Sulu, the Philippines. And we've had to deal with these for 100 years. And indeed, that's how the birth of the U.S. Navy uh, came to be, to protect us against the Barbary sure. pilot, pirates. And here again, we're back repeating history. Uh, John Paul Jones. Yeah. Uh, and so we, uh, uh, we, we've shown what works. And I think we need to continue on that scheme and stay ahead of the uh, uh, curve of the pirates. I think a lot of our listeners might be surprised to hear uh, that Captain Richard Phillips is planning to go back to sea. Well, yes, uh, I finally made that decision just a few days ago uh, for April 1st, and uh, I plan to take my family on a vacation. Uh, uh, I'm actually going down to the British Virgin Islands, down to the moorings, and after that, uh, I'm going to, come June 1st, I'm going to be uh, packing my sea bags, getting my Z card, my mer- merchant marine document, and I intend to head back to sea and work for the company I've worked for for over 20 years if they'll have me. Well, uh, I I know they'll have you and be delighted. Uh, I, I, I assume that you're going to have much of the same crew that you had before. Well, that's one thing a lot of people don't realize. I just got on the ship eight days prior to this incident. I had sailed with the chief engineer for, I believe, three months, the chief mate for two and a half months. The first engineer, Matt Fisher, I had sailed with uh, over a course of four years off and on. Uh, and that's it. I had The rest of the gentlemen, uh, I, I did not know. It was it. just your lucky draw. Just my lucky draw. And that's the way the nature of the industry is for us. We, we have a revolving crews, but we have to come to work together, be professional, get the job done. That's what merchant marinas do. When, when times comes to accomplish something, we all get up and we get the job done. Well, indeed you did, and uh, uh, and uh, as uh, Richard Phillips and I were talking, uh, you heard him say that he believes the U.S. Navy SEALs are titans. Uh, he means it to the bone, and uh, completely. Uh, we are, and we're also proud of them, proud of you and uh, your family, uh, and everybody in the Merchant Marine. I hope you guys are armed and don't have to put up with this nonsense uh, ever again. Uh, it's so uh, to me inexcusable uh, that uh, we would not uh, put the uh, put our 
our men who serve on the in the merchant marine, uh, you know, as I say, is primary yes. in the considerations. Yep. Uh, Richard Phillips, thanks again. The book is A Captain's Duty. I recommend it to you heartily to the point that we're going to put it up on our home page on the website. Uh, and uh, check it out there. You can uh, and you will find where to buy it, where to get it. It's in every bookstore near you. It's on Amazon. It's on everything, <laughs> as it should be. Uh, Captain Richard Phillips, we wish you all the best. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.